I'm going to go ahead and uh, just leave this run for a while and grab my surfboard and paddle out. One of the things that I wanted to show you too is just beautiful and you'll be able to see it on the zoomed in version later is the fact that the light hits the mirror, the glass on the buildings and reflects it like a mirror. That is the Myrtle Beach skyline. Now last year we had roughly 20 million guests visit here. And I'm in front of the Prince Resort here in Cherry Grove, South Carolina. It's got uh, cameras on the buildings you can access from a remote location if you care to. Or you can come and visit. Beautiful place.
Thanks for being in the video. <laughs> Thank you.
I'm gonna go ahead and put my board up and come on back and grab the camera and take us for a ride back home. Thank you.
so it's uh, Photoshop because it has to be. Let's see if I can. Yeah, there I am. I sent a shirt like this to Elon Musk and the uh, Roadster on the or the uh, Cybertruck on the back that I ordered as well, the tri motor. I like the uh, Tesla electric cars. I'm exposing what I believe is uh, part of the space lie, the, the fantasy, the space fantasy that's been a part of our programming package for virtually all of our life. So NASA, SpaceX, and the other space agencies are interested in the space between your ears. <laughs> Good morning. So I'm exposing that. I thought you should know. <laughs> I don't reckon he's ever caught any of them, has he? <laughs> What's that? What are you? Um, YouTube true? Yeah, yeah. So I've got a live stream and a recording going on right now. Uh, no, you're right in it. That's cool. Well, if, if you want to see it, if you want to see the picture of my uh, channel name, where y'all from? So, at Raleigh was where I got. Uh, so, uh, if you want to step on over here, then the camera can hear. You don't need to be on it if you don't want, but you're from Raleigh, right? Uh, okay, so three years ago, I was at the first. Flat Earth International Conference. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. You knew about it then, right? I, yeah, oh yeah, it's a big deal, man. We don't live on a spinning water ball hurling through space. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm exposing the space fantasy that uh, the world system is giving us. It's a, it's a, it's the beast system of Revelation 13. That's Are you right. familiar yeah. with the Bible? Uh, man, I asked a little bit about, about the beast. Yeah. Well, it's ready to go full mandatory. How about that? Wow. Yeah, the, the digital current, the digital purchasing power. Nobody can buy or sell without the mark of the beast That's or right. worshiping the image of the beast. That's right. So we've got uh, false evidence appearing real. That's right. That's fear. A lot of people are afraid about yeah. stuff that's not even real. Yeah. That's right. And then they don't have a clue about what, and deception yeah. is real proof and evidence appearing false to them. That's right. So they'll look at it and say, oh, he's a crazy Bible believing flat earther. I'm like, well, it's not really flat. If it were flat, we'd be underwater right now. <laughs> but it's not a spinning water ball, and we didn't oh, go to the I moon and all of that. I, you feel that way, too. Uh, I, it's more than a feeling. It's knowing. Okay. Knowing is kind of the... Um, or the uh, knowing is... We can hey, know... Hey, we, come on, get a dog. <laughs> Where's he going? Oh, <laughs> We, there's some things that we can know for sure, right. and some things that we need to accept on faith because That's it's right. hard to know for sure. I've got empirical evidence on my channel of the biblical proclamation of a stationary level earth. I've got archaeological evidence of the uh, Noah's Ark being found in the mountains of Ararat. That's right. and, and a lot of evidence of that, including a digital audio Bible merged with the beauty of creation as well. That's right, that's right. Excuse and then me. The, uh, the Bible also speaks of Romans 12 quite heavily about um, how we just need to become more of an individual without a work based state of mind. That's and right. knowing what we need to know for ourselves versus believing what man tells us. That's right, that's right. You got it. Yeah, so there's uh, the truth and a whole bunch of everything else. Is that your... Uh yeah, so the channel name is Truth. In order to find it, you would need to go to, uh, probably to hashtag my name in a YouTube or Google search, and then you'll find it. Oh, awesome. And that's an anytime number, too. So how do you... So you catching the sunrise? I, I am. Isn't it pretty? It is. How do you do it without the... Well, I just let it roll. It's actually kind of pretty. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can see it right there. It looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Oh, that does. That is nice, man. And I've been telling my kids about this kind of stuff for years, man. Really? Years. 
Awesome. Awesome. Well, I'll tell you what, because of me being at the first Flat Earth Conference, they thought it was humorous to make fun of me personally. And I've got about 40 million views on PewDiePie, Logan Paul, uh, Trigger Troll, wow. uh, Lewis Black on The Daily Show, The Lewis London Black. Guardian, yeah. the BBC. I'm on a lot of the different ones, but the, the most important reality is that the truth is being heard. I was heard saying, do you feel yourself spinning, wobbling, or gyrating? Wow. We ain't gyrating. Right. The earth ain't moving. If you feel movement, seek immediate help yeah, because it's in the earth. Right. <laughs> wow. So, you know, it's kind of funny. The other thing is the surface of undisturbed, unmanipulated water is flat and level. There would never, ever be level anywhere if we were spinning, wobbling, and gyrating. So the other thing I said, and they thought it was kind of funny, but it's true, we don't have toilet water flying out on people in Australia because of gravity. Well, hello, it's just water seeking its level. That's what it does. It goes from the water closet behind the toilet, yeah. it swirls around in the bowl and takes its stuff for treatment, you know? And the, the treatment that I'm wanting to give the fakery is to flush it on That's out right. of there. That's right. The water cleans the body, cleans our earth. Uh, the living water gives life to a dead soul. I'm, right. I'm spiritually alive. I'm born again in Christ. I was Amen. a dead man walking and didn't know it. Amen. I didn't know I was spiritually dead. I was doing all kinds of Jesus stuff. Yeah. Homeschooling, working at a full-time ministry, selected to lead character development classes at a mega church. None of that meant I was born again, because I was not, and I didn't know it. So I'm convinced a whole lot of people can be praising the Lord yep. and not be. They they may not be born again, and they may never be. Even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So thank you so much for. I'm going to close out. You're welcome to stay right here. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and checking out my research library. And I'm going to take us on home for in just a little bit. And uh, thank you again. So I'm going to end my recording on the P1000.